Welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to integrate JotForm with Google Analytics 4. So let's get started with this video right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and I'm going to show you how to integrate a JotForm with a Google Analytics 4. In this case, I'm going to show you how to make a conversion with your form. That means that every single time that the form is filled out, it's going to trigger an action to create a conversion on Google Analytics. So it's a really great way to keep track of these conversions using this integration. So let's get started. Let's create a brand new form. Let's go into create from scratch classic form. And this is going to open up the job form builder. Let's go ahead and add a few elements for testing purposes. So in this case, I'm just going to add the full name and the email. It can be a really simple form or a really complex form. It's just up to you how you want to use this conversion integration. Now, the next thing you want to do before we actually integrate is fill this form out once. So that when we integrate with Zapier, so it can make that connection with Google Analytics, we have some data to test. So let's preview the form. Let me fill this out once. And we're going to add a test email here and send it out. Okay, here we go. That is just the test form. Let's go into settings now, integrations, and we're going to search for Zapier. Let's go ahead and select it. And in Zapier, we're going to search for a template. Let's search for analytics, analytics, and we're going to search for the conversion uh, analytic. And we're going to search for the conversion zap. Okay, so in this case, here it is. Track new job form submissions by creating a conversion event for properties in Google Analytics. So that's what we want to use in this case. Let's use this zap. And if this is the first time that you integrate with Zapier and job form, it's going to ask you first to allow Zapier to connect with job form so it can read the submissions when they are submitted. In this case, I already done this, so I don't need to connect. But if you haven't, go ahead and connect with that connection that I just mentioned. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. It's going to ask me to select the form that I want to use. In this case, it selects by default the form that I'm in. But if you're doing this in straight from Zapier, just select the form that you want to integrate. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Let's test the trigger. And since we filled out this form once, we have some data. If you don't fill out the form once, we're not going to have any data here. So if this happens, just go back and fill out the form once. Okay, let's continue with selected records. Let's go ahead and continue. And again, with Google Analytics, same thing applies. If you haven't connected previously from Zapier to Google Analytics, it will ask you to integrate first and allow access so they can connect one with another. Okay. In this case, I already done so. Let's go ahead and continue. The first thing you want to do is select the account that you want to integrate with. Now, if you have several web websites, you will find them here. In this case, I'm going to use this website and then I got to select the property. So in the account, there could be several properties as there is in this case. Let's go ahead and choose one of these, go ahead and select it. And then you want to select the event name. Now, this has to be a unique name. So it displays over there on Google Analytics 4. Let me give you an example. OK, let's go into Google Analytics. This is Google Analytics 4. This is my property. Now, you need to log into analytics.google.com and then go to the property. OK, now you might have several properties. So select the one that you want to preview. Once you've done that, go into the gear icon right here and click on admin. And in admin, we're going to find data display. We want to go into conversions because that's what we want to trigger. Now, here is the conversion name. It has to be unique in this case. So in this case, what we want to do is we're going to use the submission ID, which is always unique for this case. OK, so here we go. This is the submission ID right now. Let's go to click on continue. Let's go ahead and test the step. You can see it, it finishes with 2629. Okay, here we go. It just made the run test. So let's go into analytics. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Here it is 2629. Here is the conversion that we just uh, triggered with that zap that we've just created. Okay, so we are done. Let's go ahead and publish this. OK, and you can see right now it's on, but if it doesn't turn on, go ahead and turn it on. If you don't, then it's not going to track that conversion. OK, OK, so we can turn this away. Here we go. We are now integrated. 
chart form with Google Analytics. So let's go ahead and preview our form again. Let's go fill this out with some information. So I'm just going to add my name here, Jorge Aguilar, and I'll just add the test email again. And we're going to submit and let's go into Google Analytics and let's wait for that conversion to pop up. OK, so right now we have one out of 10. There's 11 total right here. Let's go ahead and refresh this and let Zapier do that trigger. OK, here we go. So now pop to 13 because we made some tests here and we have the new conversions right here. So we've just made the integration from job form to Google Analytics using Zapier as the bridge for this integration. Now, you can see this is really easy to do and you are able to harness that power of Google Analytics 4 using your job form submissions. So I hope you like this video to find out how to make those conversion trackings with this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And also let us know what you think about this integration in the comments. And that's a wrap.